In today's video, I'm giving you a 10 item wardrobe winter update, and I'm showing you what I'm going to pack for Christmas in England. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer and I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe here on YouTube. And in today's video, I wanted to give you a winter wardrobe update. As we shift from fall to winter, I'm making a few very subtle changes to tweak my wardrobe. And I'm just going to share those with you in today's video. Also, we are going to be spending Christmas in England. So I'm going to show you how you pack a capsule wardrobe to go to a different country, also one with very different weather from where I live. So I'm gonna show you what I'm packing and those changes. If you are new to my channel, I did post my fall capsule wardrobe fashion show and I can leave that link in the card above. But basically my fall 10 item wardrobe performed very well and I was so happy with it. I am going to be retiring two pieces as we move into winter. Okay, so the two dresses that I am retiring now as we move into winter are these and it's strictly for their colors. They are very fall colors and I'm just going to keep these in my 10 item wardrobe for next fall. So this one is the Everlane. Japanese picnic dress. This was one of my favorite pieces of my fall 10 item wardrobe and it was a wonderful performing dress. I loved it. Um, you have to wear a slip with it. That's something that I learned because it does have a lot of static cling, but it was just really great. It is such a fall color though that I am not bringing this into my winter wardrobe. The other dress that I am retiring is this Target Wild Fable dress. And again, these are very fall colors and I love this dress. It just reminds me of Little House on the Prairie and you know I love that series but it was a really great dress and I was able to wear it in different ways by styling it with different shirts and sweaters and things like that so both of these will be going into storage now it's good to store seasonal items that you will no longer wear so that you don't have closet clutter no confusion you know when you're getting ready so I'm going to pack these away and you will see them fall of next year so I'm very happy with those so I'm only replacing both of those dresses with one core item. So I'm getting rid of two and I'm bringing one in. And so this might disappoint many people. I don't know if they're looking for something really exciting or a new garment, but I'm actually not bringing anything new. I am going back to this L.L. Bean polka dot dress that I have. And so this is from prior wardrobes and the color is just very fall winter to me, but I was wearing it spring summer of last year. So this is just a very simple dress. It's older. I don't even think it's still available anymore. Now here's something that you should know. I could have bought something new. I even had a lot of offers from really great high end companies that wanted to send me clothes for my winter wardrobe, but I said no to all of them because I just want to wear this. <laughs> so I am, I mean, it's maybe not the best business move, but I want you to see how the 10 item wardrobe works in real life. This is the one change that I'm making for winter. So this is just a great dress because you can pair it with sweaters. It just goes really well with coats. You can wear it with fleece tights and boots and it's just very easy to style and it still looks good. Now I would have actually brought this one back. I would have preferred to because I actually like this dress better. This was the one as well. It's the L.L. Bean dress. I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's become quite faded and um, it's just, it's lost its quality, so I'm going to have to uh, donate this and, and just get rid of it, basically. Yes, I am doing this. Now, here's what's so great about the 10 item wardrobe is because it is really good for people who are on a budget, but people who like to go shopping and feel like they have new clothes because bringing this back after not wearing it for a few months is just great for me and I'm really appreciating wearing it again. So I know this is not the most exciting change in the world. It's not something new, um, but I'm just being honest with you and this is what I'm bringing back. So now let's talk about what I'm going to be bringing to England. So we're going to be there for a few weeks, three weeks to be exact, and we're going over the Christmas holidays. Now, when I pack my 10 item wardrobe, this time I'm very determined to not pack too much. I always pack too much of everything. Do you do that? I think most people do. So I am going to be going there. I will have access to a washing machine, so I'll be able to wash my clothes. So I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for England. 
Okay, so first thing is I will be bringing this dress, the L.L. Bean dress that you just saw, because it's very easy to layer and it's very easy to wash and it does not wrinkle. I'm also going to be packing my J. Jill charcoal wrap dress because, again, it is very easy to style and I could wear this with fleece tights and boots and a coat and it will be very uh, easy to wear while I'm there. I will also be bringing my Velvet by Graham and Spencer plaid dress. This is just the perfect dress for the Christmas season, and I plan to wear this on Christmas Day, and I'm sure I'll wear it a few other times as well. So it's just a perfect dress for England, and I'm excited to wear it there. I am also going to bring this floral dress because it's very easy to wash, very easy to wear, it doesn't wrinkle, and again, I can layer it. So I will be bringing four dresses. As for the coats, I will be bringing my heaviest coat. This is by J. Crew, and it's uh, several years old, but it's their really thick coat, and it's very um, warm for the England weather. It's going to be very cold in England, uh, so I need a really thick coat. I wanted to bring my Sky trench coat. So this is the blue trench coat by Sky, but this is a little more lightweight, and for the English weather, it's just not gonna be warm enough, so I don't wanna take up too much space in my suitcase. So I'll be leaving this at home and I'll be wearing it when I get back um, in California in the winter. But this would be really great with almost all of the pieces that I have. And then the other piece that I'm going to bring, you will recognize this, this is several years old, and I think this is from Anthropology, but I could be wrong. I think it's anthropology. So this is my olive green wrap sweater coat. And if you've followed my blog, you know that I've worn this for years. So this is just a really great layering piece to wear over my clothes, over my dresses, you know, when I'm inside. So basically, if you can see this, I am bringing these pieces right here. I will not be bringing the Draper James dress or any of the other dresses from my 10 item wardrobe. And I'm not bringing the loft blouse. This is uh, this one right here. I'm not going to be bringing that because if I wear my jeans, I'm going to be wearing them with a sweater because it's going to be so cold. So let's talk about that. For jeans, I'm only going to bring one pair, the Mott & Bow dark denim jean. I think two pairs of jeans would be excessive for a three week trip. So I'm going to bring one pair of jeans and then two cashmere sweaters. I'm going to bring the um, camel colored Everlane sweater as well as the red Mott & Bow crew neck cashmere sweater. That was sent to me for the gift guide. And it's just the perfect color for Christmas time, right? So I'm going to be bringing that. As far as scarves go, I believe I'm going to bring this uh, faux fur scarf. It's like an infinity scarf that goes really well over my clothes. And then I'm going to be bringing three pairs of pajamas. Uh, this one is the Lumiere cashmere pajamas. It's so great. I mean, they say it's loungewear, but I have been using them as pajamas and they're very warm. So that is it. Three pairs of pajamas, one pair of jeans, two sweaters, and you know what? I'll probably also bring a cardigan as well, maybe a navy cardigan. So you can add that to it. And then I'm going to be bringing four dresses, a heavy coat, and then a sweater coat. Now, even to me, that seems like a lot, but I really believe it's 21 days. I'm going to be doing a variety of things while I'm there. I will need to dress up a few times. I think that this is a very well-rounded wardrobe. I'm also going to be wearing my Mercy wrap on the plane. So this is the travel wrap, and it is specifically designed for travel. It's wonderful because it's like a blanket, but it doesn't cling to your underarm area. So if you start to get hot, you know what I mean? Then it gets all sweaty and uncomfortable. I love this. And so it's going to be great to travel with on the plane. So I'm going to bring that. And then I am bringing four pairs of fleece lined tights. And that might seem like it's excessive, but I have so many dresses and I will have to wear all of these dresses with fleece line tights. And so I just want to um, just be safe and have four pairs. They really don't take up much room. If you fold them up there, you know, don't take up much room at all. So I'm gonna leave these linked below. These are from Amazon and I love them. They're perfect during the winter season. As far as boots go, I'm definitely going to be bringing this um, knee high black boot that was from London Soul. And I could leave a similar boot link down below. And then I am still in the deciding phase of whether or not I'm going to bring these riding boots or my cropped blondo booties. So I really have to think about that. I'm filming this video about a week before I leave, so we'll see what happens. When I'm in England, I will try to do an outfit of the week video so you can see how this 
um, travel packing relates in real life. So definitely look out for that. Before we go, you'll notice these names that are scrolling next to me. These are the Chic Connoisseurs from my Memberships tab. And so I launched the Memberships tab recently and we are having so much fun over there. It's a wonderful community. It's similar to Patreon if you are familiar with that. I'm doing one live stream a month and three podcast vodcast type uh, videos and it's just a really cool community so if you are interested in joining memberships check out the link down below and I want to say thank you so much to all of these wonderful ladies for helping to support my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you next time. Bye!